Hi everyone, this is Logic Scripts with a new script called Smart Pitch. This is going to be a pretty short tutorial and demo of it. Um, it's brand new, it's based off uh, this uh, nice little stomp box in Fender Fuse. Well, not based off, but the idea came from this. Uh, it's pretty cool because uh, with it you can choose a scale and a key and um, create your pitch shift. Um, in a harmonic way. So I thought to myself, there's nothing in Logic that can do this. Let's try and make it in Scripter and perhaps add a couple of uh, voices. So said and done, um, the script is finished and available for purchase on LogicScripts.net. If you do get it, the way to install it is to take the text file that I send you and copy all of its content, all of its contents pasting it into the script editor in Logic, replacing whatever you have there at the moment and hitting run script. Afterwards it's a good idea to save it as a preset. Okay. Um, in the script itself you have one user setting and that's the number of voices. Uh, you can set up to five. Uh, if you I think most of us don't ever go need more than five but if you absolutely need more than five just shoot me an email on the site and I will I will hook you up okay so we run our script um, just gonna hit option here option click to set this to zero the blend control um, is pretty much like the mix control here and the fuse uh, version so if you set the blend to negative a uh, high negative value at the maximum high or the well the minimum value here the minus 127 velocity you will only hear the original note that you played um, and if you set it to a high positive value you will only hear the generated note um, and in the middle you will have a you will have this so this affects the velocity so if you set it to a negative value it will decrease the velocity of the generated notes while maintaining the original velocity of the original note and this is the other way around this will give the generated notes the velocity of the original note and decrease the original notes velocity by this value it's it's not that complicated and just, just to reset it you just option click and you get to zero okay so you get the you get to choose the root key you get to choose your mode and you get to choose the nature of the voice. The unison is just in here for the sake of the list being complete but uh, I do not generate unison uh, because it messes with your volumes etc. So unison is silent. Uh, and you can go from one octave below to an octave above. Okay, so if in this setting uh, if I play anything in C major here, I automatically get a third on top of the note being played. Um, if I set it to a fourth, I get a fourth. Fifth, I get a fifth, etc. I uh, was not sure how to name this list. Uh, I decided on this. Uh, I'm not. You know, it's not perhaps 100% technically correct, um, but you get the gist of it anyway. Okay, um, you can also obviously do this in minor and different modes. Um, minor harmonic, minor melodic, these modes give you some, you know, some weirdness, but uh, that's to be expected. Okay, and let's try this with, for instance, three voices. Let's set this to back to third. You get this. And let's try five voices. And 
and uh, the script is set up so if you play notes that are outside the uh, the scale that you have chosen, uh, nothing is generated. So in C major, the black keys don't generate extra voices, only the white keys. So that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, should you want another mode set up here, it's pretty easily done. Just uh, shoot me an email and I'll fix it for you. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you like and come by the logicscripts.net site and pick this or some other scripts up. Um, I think I'll be running an introductory offer for this uh, smart pitch. Uh, probably going to make it a little bit uh, cheaper than what it says on the site right now. Um, talk to you soon. Ciao.